हरे कृष्णा इवन इफ वी कांट सक्सीड इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस वी कैन फेल इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस नॉट फेल आउट ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस समटाइम्स वेन वी प्रैक्टिस स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ एंड वी आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू फॉलो सर्टन स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड वेन वी आर नॉट एबल टू फॉलो दो स्टैंडर्ड्स वी विल बिकम डिस्करेज थिंकिंग ओ आई हैव फेल्ड एंड दैट डिस्करेजमेंट मे समाइम्स मेक अस गिव अप प्रैक्टिसिंग स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ I just can't do this with me think. Actually, rather than becoming discouraged like that and giving up Krishna consciousness, we have to see that Krishna consciousness is not just adherence to certain standards. Krishna consciousness is actually the develop the awakening of a particular consciousness. And that consciousness can be fostered, cultivated in success. and that consciousness can be cultivated even in failure so krishna consciousness is inclusive of both success and failure what do we mean by this say suppose somebody uh, practices some rigid rule say they decide to fast on a particular holy day and they will fast without water they succeed in that fast but if they become proud and think i am so self control and see everyone else who is eating they are so attached then actually they are not going to grow closer towards krishna they are not conscious of krishna when they are fasting they succeeded in the fasting but they have failed in their krishna consciousness because they have become success, become more conscious of their own greatness not krishna's greatness on the other hand somebody may fail but if they think krishna i am so conditioned i am so attached please without your mercy i cannot do anything please accept my service and please make me more qualified so that i can serve you better if that failure brings humility and if that humility makes us take shelter of krishna with greater tenacity with greater determination then actually we may grow in krishna consciousness more through failure than through success so failing in krishna consciousness means we we are not able to do something but we still remain conscious of krishna failing out of krishna consciousness means when we are not able to do a particular thing we just give up the practice of the thing and we give up practicing bhakti also when we fail within krishna consciousness then we can again rise and continue and eventually we'll rise in krishna consciousness till we succeed in krishna consciousness so the bhagavad gita talks about how krishna consciousness can accommodate failure when it says in 9.30 apichet sudara charo bhajate mam ananya bhag sadhureva samantavya samyag vyavasito hi sah it says that even if we commit the most grievous wrongs if we remain determined to serve krishna krishna you are my only hope i am not going to give up your lotus feet then krishna says such a person is well situated and in next verse he assures that kshipram bhavati dharmatma shashva chantim nigachati kaunteya pratijani hi name bhakta pranashyati soon by the determination to serve krishna we will become purified krishna assures his protection to us therefore we can now we can resolve that no matter what happens success or failure in adhering to certain standards i will adhere to krishna's lotus feet and then we'll always be in krishna consciousness sometimes in failure and later in the supreme success of absorption in krishna thank you hari krishna